Yes, there will soon be a brand new user experience when you use ChatGPT. So this is apparently some new thing that will be happening soon, according to Wired Magazine. So they just came out with a new article that talks about how, hey, there will now be a new shopping feature within ChatGPT. This is supposedly something that deals with when you ask for it for recommendations or when you're doing a search for a product to purchase, it will now present you with not only information about the product, but also a means to directly purchase something by clicking on it and then it launching another website so that you can actually go through and make the payments. So this is very interesting. And this is a good article because it answers a couple of very important questions here. So this is supposedly coming very soon from ChatGPT. This was a pre-launch demo that was shown to Wired Magazine before everyone else can see it. This was something special that OpenAI did for, for this news agency. So here is right now what would happen if you use ChatGPT for, for searching a product to buy. So right now, if you go in and ask the question, pose the prompt of what's the best espresso machine under $200 that comes close to the taste of coffee in Italy. So if you were to do that, it would give you this. It gives you some nice recommendations of different products, different coffee machines that, hey, this makes sense. This is a good sort of overall recommendation. According to the Wired article, however, now what you'll get is something more like this, where you'll see images and it'll give you some specific recommendations as far as what you could get. And then it would give you a place where you can actually purchase it. You see here on the right hand side, where you can click buy directly. So there'll be buy buttons that will now exist. This is a demo that was allowed to be shown to, to Wired. So now you can see exactly how it's going to be. A little bit different now, as far as how you can go in and use the system, a new experience to make it that much easier for you to get the content that you want. And you can see here that there's different offerings, right? We have Brand Mart USA, Walmart. Again, lots of different options but it helps you to organize, get the information, and then directly go in and buy the product that you want. So this raises a couple of different, very important questions as far as how is this even working now? Uh, because we're very much used to how things work with Google. Now they're gonna be different as far as how ChatGPT is giving you these recommendations for whatever product you're looking for. Now with Google, it does a bunch of different things, right? It's, it has their own special algorithm. It's looking for products that have been reviewed, products that have been used, products that are recommended by other people, all according to their algorithm. And then on top of that, there's also lots of sponsored ads. There's ways that, hey, this product can rise to the top because of affiliation and payments to, to make it be the number one. So lots of things going on there. Now, what ChatGPT, what OpenAI is saying is that theirs is going to be different. Sure, they'll be looking at things as far as recommendations and what the internet is saying, but it's also going to be much more personalized based off of you and how you've already been interacting with ChatGPT. So if you've already made some statements in the past, past conversations, things that are within the memory of ChatGPT, saying things like, oh, I like this brand or I don't like that brand, well, then it's gonna take that into consideration and then use that as part of the overall prompt, part of the overall instructions to find what it thinks will best match the result that you're looking for. So you have to be very careful with the prompt in order to get exactly what you're looking for, knowing now that, hey, those other things are going to influence the response that ChatGPT gives you because it's trying to personalize it as much as possible for you. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting as far as the difference now, as far as more personalization for you because the AI is getting to know you that much more. And again, longer memory if you're a paid subscriber to ChatGPT or you're just a free user. And they said that this feature is going to be turned on for everyone, regardless of whether you're even signed in or not. I don't know if there's going to be an option to opt out of that. Maybe, maybe not because I don't know how this is gonna tie in with their revenue aspects. So that's another question, right? Is if there is some sort of revenue sharing, how will that work? Uh, a case in point that got brought up in this article itself is that when Wired goes through and they review something, let's say they're reviewing office chairs and then they give their recommendations, well, the links that they put in there, those are affiliate links. So they'll get a percentage if someone buys something through their affiliation link that goes to the actual product. 
how is that going to work if ChatGPT uses that information, uses that review to then give that recommendation to you through the ChatGPT window? Uh, the, the article here doesn't give a clear explanation because OpenAI didn't give a clear ex explanation. They said, well, we're experimenting with different ways to handle affiliate marketing. So again, that's up in the air. And they said that they're going to be experimenting with different things. Their key thing that they want to focus on is the user experience to give you the best results of what you're really looking for. And then they'll figure out that other stuff uh, later on. So I guess that's good and that they're focusing more on the user experience in order to give us that best experience with the AI so that we can get the best information uh, from it. No specific date of launch. They just said that this is going to be happening very soon. So we can expect to see that, I think, this summer, uh, if not earlier, before uh, the end of, of spring here. So it should be happening within the next month or two is what I expect. Again, no clear instructions from the actual article. So this is interesting. I would love your comments. What do you think? Are you worried that this is just going to become more like Google? I, they, they've been pushing and saying that they're not going to have like sponsored ads where sometimes you go into Google and then like the first 10 are all sponsored ads and you're, it can kind of trick you. So ChatGPT, Sam Altman has come out and said that they're not going to do things like that. They're going to be focusing on the user experience in order to have a better overall process than saying using Google. Because the thing is that more and more people, especially the younger people, are switching over to using ChatGPT as their search engine. I know there's issues associated with that as far as proper information and that this is why AI literacy is so important to help everyone understand that, hey, if you're getting something from the AI, that's not the actual source. You need to check the actual source in order to verify information because that's proper AI literacy. So, But the reality is that more and more people are starting to use the AIs like ChatGPT as their search engine. So because of that, they're now competing directly with Google as far as search in general. So this is an important aspect to keep in mind as far as how they're focusing on the user experience, which I think is great, and trying to minimize deception as far as sponsored ads. So this is something to look forward to. This is something to, to really pay attention to because it will be very interesting as far as the change in the user experience when using ChatGPT. What are your thoughts? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it might be deceptive? Do you think it's going to be an great improvement over Google, I would really love to know. So please put your information in the comments so that we can all learn from one another. And remember, learning is for life. Thank you everyone and I would like to share that now I have a new online course available for you to develop your AI literacy and to gain a certificate in AI literacy. So please check it out. This is a great course with lots of different videos. It's all self-paced. There's quizzes, there's questions to ask, and there's additional resources that it provides. Here's a coupon code to give you a little bit of discount in that you're watching a special video here through the Soverell channel. I appreciate it. Don't forget to please like, share, subscribe, and spread the word so that we can all develop AI literacy together.